in 20 years from now, you're gonna be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. I love this quote from Mark Twain, and it really goes really hand in hand with the topic we're gonna discuss today, which is travel is too difficult to find time for. And this was inspired by my friend asking, I always find reasons why it would be too difficult to find time to travel. Any pointers? So if you want to know what to do about not finding enough time to travel and really living your life to the fullest, make sure you stay till the end because this is one of my favorite topics and I'd love for you to get my whole point of view on this topic. Hi lovebug, I'm Vivi. Welcome to Adventure Vault. My channel is all about guiding you to an exceptional life relationship with yourself, with your partner and just a fulfilled life with adventures, sparkles, all the things that you want to have. So if this is something that you want to have more of in your life, consider subscribing. So here's the thing. A lot of us believe that we do not have enough time to travel and we put everything before the traveling and going away and having fun because we need to make money, we need to pay bills, we need to be there for our family, we need to go visit our family, we need to plan and cook and do all the things and we have a million plans but travel, which is one of the things we want to do, oftentimes comes last. Yet, to be honest, time is the most precious thing we have. Yet, it's the most undervalued just because it's free. And if you don't believe me, just look at if you have kids or if you've ever taken care of kids or you have nieces and nephews, look at how fast they have grown and you see how time flies. And if your excuse is, oh, I just don't have the funds yet, I'll be waiting until I retire or until I have the money, the bank account rarely grows faster than the borrowed time we live on expires. Because every second that we're waiting is a second wasted, not well lived, if we're not making the most out of it. We're never getting the time back that we're not using. We cannot put it on a bank, we cannot save it, we cannot say, oh, I'm not having the best use for it right now, so let me save this time that I'm normally spending watching Netflix right now put it on the time-saving bank and let me use it when I retire because this is the time I'll be actually using it in the perfect way. That'd be kind of interesting if that worked, but unfortunately it doesn't. So life is not about waiting for the perfect moment. It's about creating something timeless with the limited time we have. Are you trying to make the best out of the time that is given to you? Most of us aren't, but we're still always blaming everything on time. If we had more time, if we had more time, if we had more time. Yet most of the time, if we had more time, nothing would change. Because we're so into our habits and into our routine that even if we had double the time, probably we wouldn't do much different things. Yet it would give us more permission to stay in bed longer, to watch another episode of Netflix and just enjoy life in the, our comfy and cozy zone a little bit more. But if you're really struggling finding time to travel, we do not always have to take an eight week vacation. Why not take like a long weekend or just a weekend every couple of weeks, every six weeks or every two months, one weekend away or one long weekend away can make all the difference. So there's always something to explore and to do even if you don't have like weeks or months to travel and seriously if we really want something we always make time for it i know i know a lot of people say i'll travel when i retire because then it's when i have the money i have the time everything's gonna be perfect i'm gonna buy a huge rv i'm gonna travel around the whole us or europe and it's gonna be incredible well, yet, how many people do you know that don't even make it till their retirement? How many people do you know that reach retirement and then something happens and snips them out of life? Or they're just physically not able anymore to travel and to do all the things and to experience and to live and to adventure. Because the kind of adventures you have when you're 20 
the kind of adventures you have when you're 50 and the kind of adventures you have when you're 80 can be really, really different. And all of them are amazing, but you cannot skip any of them intentionally to just say, oh, I'm gonna focus on the ones I'll be having when I'm 80, cause then that's when I'm gonna have enough time. Hopefully when I'm not dead yet. And the thing is, life can take everything from us in a split second, but not our experiences and our memories. They cannot be taken from us. No matter how much money is in your bank account, suddenly something happens with the country, with the government, and it's all gone. Your house can burn, all your belongings can disappear, something happens to them. It's just not as valuable as what you have inside you. And the things that you're really able to keep forever are the memories that you're creating on a daily and weekly basis. And the more beautiful you create memories, the more intentional these memories that we're creating are, the bigger is this life book that we're creating and that we're gonna be able to look back at any point of life. My parents grew up in a place where they weren't allowed to travel as freely as we can now. And my mom used to work in the oncology department, seeing people die from cancer on a freaking almost daily basis. We can die within a second. We can get sick from today to tomorrow. We can have a car accident. We never know what our destiny is. We're just living in this bubble, believing that nothing will happen to us. And where this is incredible, and I hope nothing will ever happen to us until we're like 120 or whatever, but seriously, we can't be too sure and with all the crap that we're taking to us with all the plastic that we already have in our bodies with all the crap of food that the industry is feeding us all the dust and smoke and contamination in the air how sure can we really be that we're still gonna be alive when we're 100 or 80 or whatever I wouldn't be so sure so we really gotta make the best out of the time that we have and really use it if life can be over any minute, then how do you want to die? How do you want your husband or your kids to die? And I know this is a really hard question to ask, but do you want them to die with regret? Wishing for a life where you would have taken the time to intentionally spend time together, to create memories, to see different places, to try different foods, to listen to these weird animal noises that you've never heard before. To listen to languages that you can never ever understand and witness festivals from cultures that seem so far and strange and exotic to you that not in your slightest dream you would have ever imagined that this exists. Or do you want to hold their hands when they take their last breath? looking you in the eyes with deep gratitude and saying I'm so grateful for all the time we spent together. I'm so grateful for everything we experienced. I'm so grateful for the life we lived together. I'm so grateful for all the amazing and breathtaking and mind-blowing things I was able to witness with you. I'm so thankful for everything, for the life we created, for the life we lived. If this is what you want in your life, we gotta do something about your life today. Cause now is the only time you're able to change something. And by setting the intention to create more intentional memories is where this whole thing is starting. It's about living a life filled with memories and experiences that blow your mind, that extend your heart. And that just by remembering them, your heart is filled with deep gratitude, satisfaction, excitement, bliss, and joy. This is the kind of life 
that I am creating. And I hope this is the kind of life that you want to create too. Because there's too many people out there dying with all these wishes and regrets. And it's just not worth it. Because we have the time if we use it wisely. And if we just go for it. If we stop finding excuses. And if we just start fulfilling our dreams. Because seriously, now we have the time. We can always create more money. We can always build more stuff and do more work. But the experiences we're creating today, nobody can ever take them away from us. And I know if I would die tomorrow, it would break my parents' hearts for sure. But I know that at least they knew that I lived my life to the fullest. That I'd explored and adventured that I fulfilled every single dream possible right now. And it's not about having more dreams because the more dreams we fulfill, the more dreams we're gonna build. But it's about creating something that at the end of our life, when our eyes are about to close and we still have seven minutes of brain activity and all these lights and flashbacks from our life flash and appear in front of our eyes that we really have things we're proud of that we're smiling that remind us of the love we gave of the love we received of the places we've been and of the memories we've created because i don't just want to see seven minutes of me doing stupid work and coming home to a grumpy boyfriend or husband and just getting by and you know way too many people die with way too many regrets wishing they would still have more time wishing they would have done this and they would have done that wishing they'd experienced and traveled more to be honest we can always do more if we start now so if you feel that you don't have time to travel sit down and think when can you make the time? When can you just go? And seriously, a small price difference isn't gonna cut it. When I lived in New Zealand and my friends went to Rarotonga, the Coke Islands, I was looking at the flight and I was like, oh, it's $550. That's like X amount of hours I have to work for. Should I really do it? And my parents were just like, do you wanna do it? I said, I guess I do, so go do it. It isn't about spending $300 or $500 on a flight. It's about the experience you create, the memories that stay in our heart, the lessons we learn from it. Because at the end, the money is just money that we can always create more of. But the time, that's the really precious thing that we undervalue, that we always believe, oh, we can do that later, we can do that later. But we keep waiting and waiting and waiting and then the opportunity never comes. And the time is never right. And then we're at the end of our life and we just wish we would have lived more, we would have done more, we would have experienced more, and we would have actually gone out there, and lived our life and said, of dreaming it away. So if you want to go travel and you have a deep desire of traveling, please follow your heart, follow your intuition. Just go do it. Go do it, see what happens. It doesn't have to be perfect. Even in small getaway, like if you have small kids or a husband, just say, like, you know what? We're going on a trip. Let's pack and we meet in 10 minutes in the car. And you guys might have the most incredible, spontaneous getaway that you could ever imagine. But to that, you still gotta go. You still have time, but don't waste it. Use it wisely and enjoy your life to the fullest from the bottom of your heart. 
thank you so much for watching if you know anyone that should watch this video please share this video with them and please consider subscribing if you want to hear more about traveling adventures how to travel more why to travel more all the traveling things if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'm always happy to answer questions or to do videos on your questions thank you so much